Hello and welcome guys to this session by Intelepath. Today we are going to be discussing how to become a cybersecurity expert in 2021. Uh, but before we begin, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click on that bell notification icon to never miss out on any updates from us. Also, if you like the study material that we are using, if you want access to the PPTs that we are using, you can comment down below or you can comment in the live chat section uh, in order for us to get in touch with you and provide you with that material. So uh, with that said, uh, without any further ado, let us begin. Uh, who is a cybersecurity expert? We need to understand that first in order to understand how you can become a cybersecurity expert in 2021. So as the new year is approaching, if you're looking to change career paths or get into a particular career path, cybersecurity might be the career path for you. So what is cybersecurity? First of all, cybersecurity is the field that deals with enacting countermeasures against attacks, disruptions, and thefts against and through technological systems via the means of hacking. So as uh, technological systems are evolving, everything is going digital these days. Uh, so naturally, the crimes that are happening are also transitioning towards a digital era. So that is what the field cybersecurity is for, to prevent the crimes that happen on a digital platform. So it might be crimes, it might be data breaches, it might be data theft, anything. Uh, we are using the field of cybersecurity to combat that issue. And this is irrelevant of the fact of whether these breaches are intentional or not, right? So let us understand the roles in cybersecurity now that we know what cybersecurity is. There are various job roles that are available. Uh, we are going to be talking about the top most uh, popular job roles in the cybersecurity domain. So the first one is application security engineer. Second is security engineer. Third is network security engineer. At fourth is information security analyst and the fifth is IT security specialist. So we're going to be discussing about these five job roles in very specific terms. So let us start off with application security engineer, right? So as the name suggests, it says application. So it relates to software, right? So any software engineer who creates, implements and maintains computer software, right? And implements the security aspect of that software is called an application security engineer. So what are they? tasks that the application security engineer implements in his job role, right? So the tasks include writing code, testing code, collaborating with the development team, right? So any software that is being developed, uh, say for instance, amazon.com is being developed or facebook.com is being developed. There are obviously people who are concerned with the front end and the back end and the database uh, of that particular application. But since uh, digital crime is such a frequent occurrence these days, it is very important to implement security in that application as well. So you need somebody from a security domain uh, with a security expertise in development to be part of your team. And that person is the application security engineer. So this particular person uh, will test the security features of that website. He will write code and he will test code. He will also collaborate with the development team and suggest them on how they can improve the security uh, during their development phase and add security features to their website if something is vulnerable. So those are the tasks of the application security engineer. It deals with development, testing and collaboration. Qualifications, uh, you don't need much qualification uh, to be an application security engineer. If you're interested in the field, if you have the right experience from an academic level in this particular field, you can go ahead and get a job straight away. So application security engineer, engineer is not that uh, difficult to attain a job in that if you're interested in it. Uh, the skills obviously include a coding language, such as C, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, or JavaScript. Now, uh, according to personal experience, I would say JavaScript is a must because you're mostly going to be dealing with uh, web applications or mobile applications. And a lot of these applications are using JavaScript both on the front end and the back end, definitely on the front end, right? So uh, one would suggest you, would, you should learn one particular coding language like Python, Ruby, C Sharp, or C, and you should 100% learn JavaScript as well alongside those. Next up is security engineer. 
Now, security engineer simply means the person who creates and implements solutions to ensure security in a product or a system's workflow, right? So, for instance, you're working for an organization or uh, you're working as a security engineer in an organization's application development phase, right? So, your task is not directly involved with development, but it is more so involved with the workflow that the organization is following or the development team is following. Uh, so the security engineer basically deals with ensuring secure standards and protocols in organizational workflow and delivery to avoid loose ends, right? So essentially the task of the security engineer is to see whether the procedure that is being followed by the development team or the organization is safe or not and the product that is being developed is safe or not. So uh, the other task that the security engineer has to deal with is unexpected security incidents or software changes. So there might be an update in the software, uh, sudden update or a sudden security incident that might have arised at the uh, end user's end, right? So the job of the security engineer is to basically manage and adapt according to that situation and come up with a solution for that. So uh, the qualifications are minimal. They, it is just a bachelor's in an IT related subject and the skills would include experience and domain related knowledge now depending on where this person is a security engineer he needs to have knowledge of that domain and the security aspects of that domain he needs to know how to manage tasks really well and he needs to know uh, frequent troubleshooting aspects of technology this person also needs to be aware about the safe standards of uh, development and the workflows that output the safest product possible Next up, uh, we have the network security engineer. Now, as the name suggests, uh, network security engineers ensure secure deployment, configuration, and administration of the organizational computer network, right? So any organization that you would work for, uh, whether it is a business-related organization or a development-related organization, uh, they are digital and they are using a computer network within their office premises or for their workflow, right? The job of the network security engineer is to essentially uh, deal with security related hardware and software installation in that network uh, dealing with firewalls vpns uh, monitoring that network and configuring the routers in a safe and secure way this is to essentially prevent any third person from being able to access that network or any security breaches in that network or any uh, suspicious packet that is flowing through that network that can be apprehended right so these are the sort of tasks that this network security engineer has to ensure so uh, the qualifications for this is firstly a bachelor's in an IT related subject and next up it's also uh, sort of uh, recommended that you have a certification in the CISSP uh, to get a good package and a, a higher chance of getting hired in this particular job role. So we'll talk about the CISSP in a moment. Uh, the skills that are required to become a network security engineer uh, solely include strong knowledge of computer networking because that is what you're going to be dealing with, right? You should know how to safely uh, ensure the uh, proper working of a computer network, right? And you should know how packet monitoring is done, how firewalls, VPNs, and all of these things operate and how a network architecture behave in general so you need to have strong knowledge about computer networking so a quick briefing about the CISSP certification uh, CISSP stands for certified information system security professional so the certification is an independent information security certification granted by the International Information System Security Certification Consortium also known as ISC squared so uh, the prerequisite to be part or to get the certification to appear for the certification include five years of experience in any of the two following domains, whether it's security and risk management, asset security, security engineering, communications and network security, identity and access management, security assessment and testing, security operations, software development, security. So uh, if you have five years of experience in any of these two domains, that basically means that you're experienced, essentially you are at a job role uh, that has dealt with uh, some of these domains. It's not exactly, you don't have to be exactly accurate about it, but uh, it's a rough five years of experience that you need in it in order for uh, you to appear for this examination, right? So if you are an uh, experienced individual in this particular job domain, Intellipath has an offer for you. We do offer CISSP certification training. 
So if you're interested in that certification, uh, you can go on to alpha.intellipart.com slash CISSP hyphen certification hyphen training. You can go over to that website and uh, look over uh, what we are offering for you. Okay, so moving on information security analyst. So information security analyst is an analyst that is tasked with examining and solving security problems. Right. So essentially, uh, this is the thick of the job role that is there. This is the most vague job description that is right. So the analyst basically deals with researching, finding security threats, developing strategies to counter and penetration testing. Right. So this is what a hacker does. Basically, this is what the job role of an ethical hacker is. Right. So this is the uh, version of the job that is dealing with ethical hacking. Right. So the person has to keep up to date with the latest hacks, uh, keep up to date with the latest technologies. And uh, the person has to basically see whether in an organization or a product that has been developed by that organization has any security vulnerabilities. So this person has to basically attack that software or that organization's network or whatever uh, we're doing with uh, we're dealing with. Essentially, he has to attack that and see if he's able to attack it. And uh, he has to document the process of how that person and basically attacked that network. Next up, uh, IT security specialist. Now the job of this person is to examine the cybersecurity uh, free architecture and history of an organization. So basically any application or uh, organizational framework that the organization is based on, this person has to Im examine the history of it. So essentially the past breaches that may have happened uh, in order to implement uh, preventive measures uh, for any such breaches in the future. Right. So the tasks include uh, basically a broad range of tasks. It depends depends on the domain uh, in which this person is an IT security specialist. So it could depend uh, on if the organization is working on web applications or if it simply means that uh, this person is an IT security specialist for the network that the organization is using. Right. So the qualifications are straightforward uh, a bachelors in an IT related subject. And since this person is a specialist, so whatever exams that need person needs to give uh, in whatever domain to become a specialist in that security domain. So specialist qualifications are necessary in order to be termed as a specialist uh, and the skills are same as an analyst as a, except here uh, you need an in-depth sort of knowledge about the domain that you are specializing in. Right. So you don't need to know all of it, but uh, whatever you're specializing in uh, whether it's uh, Linux or whether it's networks or whether it's uh, programming, you need to have uh, the appropriate amount of skills for it. Uh, what are the skills required in summary? So we know uh, we now know a general idea of what kind of skills are required. So essentially uh, you need to know about your operating systems. So essentially in every organizational network, there are multiple devices with multiple operating systems like Windows, Linux, uh, Mac, Android. You need to be able to uh, know your way around the command line terminals of all of these operating systems uh, and uh, to, in order to ensure security and implement uh, penetration testing or just understand how they work. Right. And then obviously we discussed scripting. So JavaScript is a uh, must for web browser based scripting or web application based uh, uh, security measures, right? And then C or Python, you can choose any one of those. And uh, SQL is a sort of uh, important uh, uh, coding language that you need to know or a standard query language that you need to know when you're dealing with website databases, right? And then uh, we have networking. So networking essentially deals with the organizational networks or the web architecture that your organization is using uh, in order to uh, deploy its web application. So all of these uh, uh, skills are required in summary. Uh, if you're looking to get an experienced sort of job role or a package uh, in this particular cybersecurity domain, then uh, we can talk about the CES certification. If you're looking for an introductory level certification or a point to start in your cybersecurity career, uh, you can go for the CES certification. It is a world renowned certification. Uh, basically industry accepted accolade by the EC Council obtained by demonstrating knowledge of key hacking skills to assess security and vulnerabilities in a target system in a lawful and legitimate manner. So this basically provide you with a lab environment where you can implement all of these things and their activities that you need that they need you to implement. Right. So once you've implemented all of that, uh, you can essentially give their exam. And if you pass that exam, you get the certification, right? So there are minimum qualifications for this exam. So the first is with training. So if a candidate has completed an official EC Council certified training, either at an uh, accredited training center, 
uh, via the online platform that they have they can give the exam the second option is if you have two years of experience in the information security domain you can give that exam uh, straight up uh, by giving the examination fees and appearing for it so uh, if you are one of those people who doesn't have any experience uh, so you can basically go for IntelliPath's offering. So IntelliPath is an accredited training center for the EC Council for this particular certification. So if you're looking to start uh, with your cybersecurity journey, you can start with us, right? So you can go on to IntelliPath.com and search for CEH and you'll get this particular result, right? So that is it. Let's talk about the salaries uh, in the information security or the cybersecurity domain. We discussed about the application security engineer. Uh, so in the United States, it's about $130,000. In India, it's about 9 lakhs per annum. In the UK, it's about 50,000 pounds. Security engineer in the United States, it's about $95,000. Uh, in India, it's about 6 lakhs per annum. And in the UK, it's about 39,000 pounds. Network security engineer in the United States, it's about a hundred thousand dollars in mind. This is the average income, not the static or the end income of a cybersecurity specialist analyst, right? So uh, as as much as domain knowledge, as much of domain knowledge as you gain uh, with your special specialities and certifications that you gain, uh, you can increase that package. So it all depends on experience at the end of the day, right? So that is about it with how to become a cybersecurity professional in uh, 2021. So if you enjoyed that video, be sure to like this video. Uh, if you would like to ask us live doubts during these sessions, you can join our webinar. The link for the webinar has been given to you in the chat box uh, that you're viewing right now. And if you wish to uh, avail any of our certification trainings, you can contact us using the following contact details if you have any doubts related to this career domain. Our sales team is present 24-7. You can contact our sales team or you can chat with our course advisors 24-7 by going on to intellipath.com and using our chat box. So that is, that is it from Intellipath. Uh, thank you for attending this session and goodbye.